Welcome or welcome back to the any help at Cisco. In this example, we need to find the second derivative of this function f of x, which is 3 times the quantity x squared plus 1 to the 4 power. So, for finding the second derivative, we need to find the first one first. So, the derivative of f, f prime of x, will be the derivative of this function. And the first thing I'm going to use here, I'm going to use a constant multiple rule, which allows me to pull the 3 out. And we have 3 times the derivative with respect of x of x squared plus 1 to the 4 power. And now I'm going to use um, the power rule first, which tells me to take this 4 and put it up front. 3 times 4 times the function x squared plus 1 to the third power. You have to drop one power times, now by the chain rule, the chain rule that you see down here, we have the derivative of x squared plus 1. So we need one more step in calculus for finding this derivative. And by first of all, we can uh, multiply 3 times 4, 12, 12 x squared plus 1 to the third power times 2x and the last step here the simplification will be 24x times the quantity x squared plus 1 to the third power this is f prime of x now the derivative the second derivative will be nothing else than the derivative of the first derivative so, in our case, will be the derivative of 24x times the quantity x squared plus 1 to the third power. So, you already heard me saying times. So that means we're going to use the product rule here. So, we're going to have the derivative of respect of x of 24x times the second part which is x squared plus 1 to the third power, plus, then we're going to keep the first part, 24x, and we're going to do the derivative with respect of x of the last part, which is x squared plus 1 to the third power. So let's move and see. On the first part, the derivative of 24x is just 24 times the quantity x squared plus 1 to the third power, plus 24x times, and now here again we're going to do a similar process with f prime of x. We're going to have these three that is going to move up front times the function x squared plus 1 to the second power we drop 1 times by the chain rule the derivative of this inside function which is 2x. So let's do some simplification here. Then we have 24 times the quantity x squared plus 1 to the third power plus. And then we have 24 times 3 times 2. That will be 48 times 3. And that is 144. 144x x squared plus 1 squared. And this one is a good answer. What we can do here in case you need it, we can factor out an x squared plus 1 to the second power. Then we have here 24 times x squared plus 1 because we already removed 2 of this x squared plus 1 by factoring out plus 144x. So this is one form that you can have it. Uh, this is not really probably what you want, probably what we really need if you want to find the zero of this second derivative, which is the case sometimes, is the factor form. So here we have x squared plus 1 squared, and here we're going to have 24x squared plus 144x plus 
24. You may want to see if the last part can be factored out, but you may not need that also. But this is the second derivative of our function. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C squared for more help. Thank you.